Yo, V Nation, I got a question. I see these all over the internet. I was wondering, do these neck fans really work? Well, if you want to find out, you might want to stay tuned and check out this video, alright? Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy Mark for Loose Cruising Views, back to get another video. But you know how we do before we get started. Let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Yeah, V Nation, it's your main man Mark back to give another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of these neck fans you see all over the internet. But before we get started though, can you do me a favor? Can you go down there and hit that subscribe button? It really helps the channel. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yo, v Nation, we're going to be taking a look at some of these uh, neck fans that, you know, you see all over the internet, you know, because it's that time of the year with the scorching hot summer sun beating down your neck, and you're looking for something to cool you off. And I've been wondering, like, you know, I went, you know, got a few of these, as you can see here, I got four of them right here. I was wanting to put them to the test and see if, you know, if they really work. You know, I've been using these, you know, for about, about a month or some change right now, because I really wanted to see, test them out and see if they, you know, if really worth it. But it's two of them that I'm missing that I really want and I think that probably will work uh, better than anything is the one for the Taurus uh, Coolify 3, Court in the, um, the Ramview, Ramview, the Alice 3 or something like that. Those two right there, I think, you know, will probably beat out all these. But anyway, let's get to these re real quick. You know, you see these all over the internet and I was like, you know, let me go ahead and check them out. All right, and I got my notes right here for this one because I think I'm gonna need notes for this one. This one is, uh, this one is the, uh, let me see, what is this? This is the Wave Mill Chill Go, all right? Wave Mill Chill Go. It's a, uh, it says bladeless neck fan, per per personal and portable. You know, it's a, it says neck air conditioner, which I don't see where it's a neck air conditioner, but uh, it says cooling wearable fan, max 12 hours, four motors, airflow like 90 plus, and foldables, you know, good travel fan, all right? So, that's that one and you see here and I think you know, I forget what, how much that one is but uh you know this one this one's it's, it's pretty good you know it's got strong airflow it folds you know you can you can easily put in your bag whatever you know so it's, it's a pretty decent one so um, as you can see right here let me get you right here where you can see it better you can see right here you have your uh, power button and then uh, this button right here controls the uh, fan because this one has four fans. It has a fan in the top part and then you have a fan around the neck part, which I think is a good idea. But um, yeah, and, and you know, it's just, that's, that's all it swivels. It, it doesn't swivel too much. But um, you see what kind of battery it has in here? I forget what kind of battery. But anyway, this, this one... Um, I've, I've been went uh, this one was kind of you know one of one of the favorite ones out of these four I got right here because of the folding and because it has vents right here at the, at the back of the neck that's real important you know most of these fans just have the vent right here the venting right here on the sides but they left out the back of the neck where you really get hot so you know let me let me see uh, I got my little wind meter right here let's see how, so we can see uh how uh how much airflow we get in here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So you can see, this is the airflow coming out of here. Okay, that's medium. Hopefully you can see it. And this is max. That's the airflow coming out of this one. The chill and go. All right. I'll do it one more time. It only has three speeds. One more time. This is the lowest speed. Make sure I got it in the right spot. All right, next speed. All right, and highest speed. All right. So this one, this one blows pretty good. You know, I like it. I mean, you know, I, the one, the favorite, my favorite thing about it is that you know it folds up so that I mean that's the best thing about this one it folds up let me go ahead and turn this one off you know so 
we'll leave that one to the side. Next, we're going to get to one of the ones you pretty much see all the time. The ones that don't fold. It's just kind of hard and rigid. You really don't have no flexibility. So uh, this one, let me see. Let me get back to my notes. All right. This one is the Far Fasara, uh, spelled F-R-S-A-R-A. -S -S it's spelled F-R-Sara, you know, well, it's like Sarah or whatever it is. But uh, it's the portable bl uh, bladeless neck fan. All of these are pretty much bladeless. Uh, this one has a 5200 mile battery, has long endurance, 360 surrounding cooling. Uh, let's see here, um, three uh, feet, three speed levels. Let me see where is the working time. It works between four to 16 hours. All right, and the last one didn't tell you, uh, give you a range. This one gives you a range. So I imagine on max speed, you're gonna get only four hours with this one, but on lowest speed, they're claiming 16. So, yeah. This one right here, let's, let's take a, I'm gonna let you take another, take a look at this. Let me get you on overhead so you can take a better look at this one. So this one, you got the little branding right here. You know, that's what, you know, I couldn't, I don't know where they get these names from, but you know, that's the name of the product right there, the company that makes it product. Um, let's see, did I say the name of this one? This just says neck fan, okay. You got your venting, and you got your venting around the neck part, and you got your venting around the side. Now this one has venting all around, so that's, that's cool. But, you know, my opinion, I don't think it's really strong enough. But uh, you, know, you have the power button, a little LED indicator right here. So, and it, it, you got your intake uh, right here where the venting is, and you got your USB-C charging slide. And I forgot to show you, you have the USB-C charging on this one as well, all right? All of these uh, take USB-C, so that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and turn this one on so we can check out the fan speed on this one. So let me get it right so you can see it. Get it right in the camera. So this is... Let me get my, okay, now I can control the power. All right. Let me get it. Let me let me start right here. Get it back to lower speed. This is lower speed. Medium. And max. As you see, this one didn't. Uh, it's not as strong as the, the previous one. The, uh, the previous one has a stronger motors, but you know. It does have the uh, venting up top right here. So, but this so this one, you know, in my opinion, is it might be my less uh, favorite out of the you know the four right here so far. So, let me uh, let me cool myself off for a minute. All right, let me go ahead and turn this bad boy off. All right, we're gonna put that one to the side. Let's see which which one we have next. We have the let's see what's this one called. This one is called the Everlet uh, neck fan. Let me see. Let me see where I got. Yeah, Everlet neck fan. This one's claiming to have, uh, and that's and this this one right here. I'm just jumping ahead of myself. This one. Uh, let's see. Three point, it takes, uh, to recharge the fan, it takes 3.5 hours, and it says it provides up to 10 hours of refreshing air. So it works 10 hours, and it's saying it down here on speed level, the speed, and level three cooling fan, you run for two hours. And let's see here. I'll take it back. Speed one runs for 10 hours. Speed three runs for two hours. So it says it only has two uh, speeds on here. And this is the uh, Evilet, it's spelled E-V-I-L-L-T. All right, put that one down here. And so you can see this one. But as you can see, this one has cooling plates. Now this is where, you know, I think, you know, the, the fans actually come in handy and actually start to really do something to kind of cool you off. It's these, these metal cooling plates, as you can see here. Here's a little, you have two buttons, you got the power button, and then you have a button to turn the uh, cooling plates on and off. And they only have two fans, they have the fans up in the neck. It kind of looks like a, 
almost look like a, a crazy looking headphone or you got some kind of hearing device on, but you know, it actually works. And it also has some venting in here. So the venting in here only comes out of right here. So that's the bad thing about this one. They should have had vents to come down the side as well. It has USB-C right here as well. So let's go ahead and turn this one on. As you can see, I'm gonna, gotta press and hold. And it shows, you know, lets you know it's on. It's got, you got your like, little white LED. And then you press this one right here. And that, that turns on the cooling plates. And the cooling plates do get cold. They get really cold, you know, but after a while you really don't notice it, but it does, the, it cools off a little bit better than this one. I'll tell you that one. This one, you know, does, does good, but you know, this one, you know, cools off because of the cooling plates. And let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out the wind meter again. Turn it back on, turn it, and uh, see. Now this one's gonna be kind of hard to test because the wind is coming out of all di different directions right here, not just one direction. So let me cut it, cut it back on. Let's see here. Or might have to do it upside down. Well, let's do it like this. This is the first speed. And let's go to the second speed. Let's go, and that's all. You only get two speeds. So, so far, as far as the uh, far as speed and airflow, this one is beating out all of them so far. As far as that uh, speed and airflow, but this one does a better job of cooling. But it's just missing the, those vents right here. So, I mean, and I think this one is more expensive than these two right here. All right, and this is the, one, the most expensive with the one we're getting to next. Let's see. Let me go ahead and turn it off. You gotta press and hold to turn it off. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is the IQ, iCurl Nex Fan. And that's this one here. As you can tell, this one, I put this one through the paces. This is the first one I got and the most expensive one. I think this is close to a hundred bucks, but I, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But it, that's, let, me, let me let you guys check it out though. I use this out in the yard and you can see all the little red dirt out on there, but you know, it, it, it it, it really had a hard time staying on. Like this one stays on pretty good on your neck um, while you're moving. This one does okay staying on, and this one you know, does real good staying on your neck. But this one right here, you have to be pretty much sitting still for it to, to actually work. Because, I mean, walking or light jog, it just keeps turning and turning and want to fall off my neck. And it's hard to stay on. Even though it's, you have this right here, it's, it's supposed to be a little bendable, but you know, Anyway, let me read some of the specs on it. this one. This is the iCurl neck fan cooler. So what they're calling this uh, plate right here, the cooling plate, like this one has a cooling plate. This one has one cooling plate in the back, which I think they should have had a cooling plate on the side as well. But anyway, uh, it has a cooling chip, two cooling modes, uh, personal fan, unique design uh, for indoor, outdoor, or whatever, what, or that part right there. Let's see here. This fan can cool down to 10 to 16 degrees, which uh, it really didn't do that for me. Um, let's see here, it has 26 air outlets. Let me see, also the second page here. Uh, let's see, far as far as working time, uh, it takes two hours to fully charge and it can be used from two to 16 hours, all right? And I didn't, I didn't get nowhere near no 16 hours, even having it on low, testing it on low, I didn't get no up to 16 hours so let you to take a look at it but one another thing about this this is uh this one has led lights which you know i don't know why you would need led lights on on a neck fan but uh they have them i mean maybe if you're out walking somewhere in the dark you might want that but you know you know other than that i mean i think that's just a gimmick so here you go here you got your own venting right here on the sides no venting at the top so i guess the, the neck plate is supposed to take care of the cooling for the neck and then you got your uh, fans right here. You got two fans, and you got your LED lights, and you got some little plate, fake or uh, metal plastic right here. So it's all plastic, you know. And I, this is the venting up top uh, for this metal plate. So I guess this metal plate creates heat for itself, trying to cool you off. And this is to help, you know, keep it from overheating. Here's the power button, and it also doubles as the light button. 
you turn the LED lights on, and here is the air conditioning button. And it, uh, that's all it does is work for the, to, to turn on the cooling plate. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Get it on. And, it, and it's like touch sensitive. This one doesn't have a button, it's just touch sensitive. And you have to touch it in the right spot to get it to come on. And see, that's the one thing I hate about this one. And this is the most expensive one. Oh, I take that back. See, I got so many fans, the power button is on the bottom with the USB-C charger port. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. But anyway, let me turn the power button on. Press and hold. Let me get it to come on. I know I charged it up before. Okay, it's on. As you can see, it has a flashing red light on here on the power button. Now on the side button, you have your light light and your um and your um air conditioning button. Well, you know, before I said this it was a power and light button, scratch that, you know, made a mistake. It's just a light button and it controls the different light modes. And this is the uh, air conditioning button. I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning button on. You gotta press and hold for that. And once you press and hold, you'll see once you'll see, you'll see it uh, flashing blue and red. That lets you know you have the air conditioning mode on. Now, as far as the color the, for the for the light modes, let's turn on these lights. All right, as you can see here, little dim red lights right here. I know our lighting is bright in the studio. Click it again. You press and hold to go to the next light color okay you double tap you got green you got blue you got white you got red again and I'm not sure if this one cycles through the colors let me see if I press and hold and see if it'll do that cycle through the colors you no know, press and hold just turns it off so there you go you got you got some lights on here so to control the fan speed is you know you have to click on the power button right here. Oh, this this thing is this thing is cold, real cold. But it just won't stay on my neck. So um, let's go ahead and test these the speeds out on this one. All right, let me get the wind meter back out. Okay. All right, so get it where you can see it. That's low, medium. And high. I'm trying to get it to the right spot. Try one more time. Because it's kind of awkward trying to get to this eventing. And get it in the camera. Okay, this is low. medium and high nowhere near as, as uh, strong as this one right here the first one turn this first one on one more time on high this first one is very strong there's a fan on this one is very strong out of all four of them, this one has the strongest uh, fan. But this one right here, in my opinion, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it. I mean, it's overpriced and it won't stay on your neck. Let me go ahead and change the angles right here and turn this fan off. Got to press and hold to turn it off. Oh, let me turn the other one off. And also, I forgot on another one. This is where you can hold the. Uh, Control the fan in the back, turn the fan on the back off. Moving too quick because it's getting hot in the studio. I need to turn my fan on, put one on real quick. But uh, turn it off. Overall, out of all, all four of these, the one I think that did the best, it has the best airflow, you know, best job of cooling off, I would say this one. This one did a better, better job of cooling off, but it's lacking airflow. This one has the strongest airflow. If you just need air, strong airflow, you're not worried about the uh, the cooling features, then I will go with this one. You know, but this this one right here, they missed the mark right here because, you know, they should have put a cooling uh, cooling plate on here. They should have put a cooling plate in here, and they should have had, uh, you know, 
you know, have better fans in here so you get better uh, uh, speed, you know, airflow. So that's what they missed out on this one. So this one is, it, this one comes in last. And I would say this one comes in, uh, no, I take that back. This one, even though it's the most expensive one, this one comes in last, then this one, then this one, and then this is the number one out of all 40 uh, fans. But like I said, it, you know, in my opinion, do these neck fans work? Um, they take the edge off. They don't work all that great. But there are two out there on the market that they claim to work really good. And that's, like I said, that's the uh, Coolify 3 by Taurus and the uh, the uh, Alice 3 or something like that from Rang, Rangu. Uh, I'm not sure who it is, but it's called the Alice, you know, 3. And it has all kind of stuff on there. It has like, uh, you could use it, as, you could play music with it. Also, it tells you the temperature, it has LED screens and all that. And I think it has an app, it has all that stuff. And, it's in, and I think the Taurus uh, Coolify 3 has that too. But also Taurus has another one that's supposed to be just as good, it just came out this year as well, is the Coolify 2S. So those three right there, I think will beat these with no problem, but I just got to get them in the studio. So go ahead and test them. So uh, Taurus, if you hear me out there, Go ahead and send me up here so I can go ahead and uh, test out these uh, that neck fan to see uh, how they stand up to these uh, other ones. But uh, other than that, like I say, don't waste your money on on this one right here. Like the lights on here is just a gimmick, and it would not stay on your neck. The only way it stays on your neck is you sitting still in the chair and not moving. This one stays on the neck real good, and you got your cooling pads on there. You know, cooling plates, and it works. It's just lacking airflow right here, but it, this airflow is you know coming out in 360 uh, direction so it's it's trying it's trying so you know if i had to choose but of all of these to, to take with me on the day i just want to keep cool it would be this one even though it looks odd but you know hey you know it's got the cooling plates and that's the only reason why i would take the choose this one out of all of these right here is because the cooling plates and it, you know it, and it still has some airflow but then if you know if i wouldn't worry about the cooling plates it'll be this one and, it, and the rest of them be you know, thrown in a drawer somewhere, but, and then plus, I like, because it's foldable, you know, it's compact, so, yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, so you know if I do videos, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend, to subscribe, 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 it really helps the channel, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave links for each one of these fans down in the description box, so, you know, just in case you want to check them out for yourself, and you want to, you know, um, decide if they're good or not, you know, so for yourself. So I'm gonna leave links for each one of these fans down in the description box, so you can, you know, check them out and get more detailed information. Because I'm pretty sure it's something that I didn't mention. You might have a question. Go down there, click on that link in the description box. You get more detailed information. All right. Just trying to mark, just trying to save you, save you some money because especially this one right here. Overpriced 99 bucks. You can get uh, two or three of these for the price of that one. But anyway, uh, like I always say, treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better you want to be treated, all right? All right. Let's see here. The message for the day is, hmm, never give up and quit. Never give up and never quit, all right? Because if you keep, if you give up and never quit, you'll never see uh, the final result of success. All right, that's the message for today. This is your main man, Mark, for New Schools of Views. Drop the mic, and I'm out. Peace. Ooh, man, it's hot in the studio. Let me cut this on. Ooh.